All right, I'm back for some more. Urgh. Settled back in here. Not sure where Zombie Dog wandered off to. Uh, got my cookies. Got my water. I'm good to go. Have a cookie. Okay. Yeah. Best thing, get the vehicle safely out of here. I don't want to risk leaving it. So, much as I would like to use it as a dumping point for some gear while I search around some more, I think the smarter play is to get it out of here sooner rather than later. Don't risk it. So, let's um, go ahead and drop some stuff in here for now. Raw materials, the books, the food items, the pots, and the rest I can keep for now. While we're in here, let's take apart some more. Oh, that's right. I can't this is, I can't deconstruct in the dark. I can smash. Eh. I just want the uh, metal items anyway. What else do I want to take from this house before I take off? I grab the canning pots. I don't think I do. rubber hose. Alright, should be all I need there. Hello. Oh, I almost left behind duct tape. Oh, somebody's somebody's in the area. Alright, might be time to get out of here. Oh, hi, zombie dog. You're back. Alright, here you go, buddy. You get... You get the big monkey. Yes, you get the big monkey. <laughs> Alright, one more. What is this thing? I have no idea what this is. But that's the other thing you get. Alright. Okay, so it's open door, jump in vehicle. Oops, let's close up the trunk so I don't get zapped by the three shock zombies probably waiting for me outside. Alright, that's not too bad a crowd. Looking okay so far. Um, I might be able to back out like so. Give it a try. Alright, what are we looking at? Clear streets. Shredded vehicle up north. Um, and a pretty good crowd of zombies.
I think I'm going to go through. We'll take the damage. Yeah, that was worth it, I think. That wasn't too much damage. Let's uh, try to pull up next to this one before we get out of range. Let go of the controls. Siphon. Not that I need fuel desperately right now, but hey, what the heck. And do I have room to check the back of that before we take off? I think we do. Ha! <laughs> crowbar! Cheeseburger! Alright, we'll take the crowbar on the cheeseburger. We are out of town. Let's check this vehicle real quick. So, minor quarter panel and frame damage. Ooh. Ah, we blew a headlight. So, yeah, we, we took some damage. More than I liked. But uh, I think it was worth it to get this thing out of there. And again, it is one of these farms I don't like. Dang it. Horse farm. I'm going to drive around it for the moment. There's the main house. Um, we'll take a look at the uh, airport real quick before we settle in. the hangars that had uh, stuff. I don't think I ever went into the actual waiting area or the control tower. Zombie, zombie, zombie. All over there. They can see me quite yet. Hammer, drive, belt, and rock so far. They can't see me. That vehicle, perfect conditions. This is not one of those goofy locations with perfect. Nope. Alright. Good. Oops. Stop driving. So, settling torch, small welding tank, small welding tank. Nothing. Headlights, which I now need. <laughs> Uh, yield a real crowbar. Bottle jack and a funnel. And nothing. So, not as much as I was hoping for. Cherry can's good though. And then more raw materials. And I won't forget about the acetylene torch. Alright, that gets us some welding capability. be able to sneak up to that other where other hangar without them seeing me. Old hand crank charger, mechanical pump, another small welding tank. Oops. Don't need 
that. Copper wire, welding goggles, and more copper wire. Another torch and a full tank and welder. Ah, kind of dang air filters. <laughs> Always freaking me out with the air filters. I don't think I can get much more out of the hangars, unfortunately. Don't need anything in the vehicles. I don't think right now I'm gonna check the waiting area or the control channel. Control tower. I expect the waiting area's probably got what vending machines. Uh might be able to control it through the tower for the map. I don't know. I haven't been up in the control tower yet. I would sure hope so. Let's see. It doesn't say that there's additional levels, but that doesn't necessarily mean there aren't any. Would be good to get a look around the area. carts. Hey there, golf carts. Zombie tech. Gas pumps. Tanks. That's the fueling station. Lots of techs. Tanks. Can't go north any further usefully, so let's get the vehicle turned around here. Get it ready to rumble out of here. Stop driving. Alright, I'm gonna assume there's no back door. An RX-12 jet injector with two rounds. Cool. Fast healing chemicals. Interesting to think... Interesting thing to find, just laying on the ground. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, you bastards. <laughs> oh, that's mean. That is just rude. One of my most hated enemies, giant cellar spiders, have taken up residence in the tower. Oh, man. I wanted to get a look upstairs. These guys are these guys are rough. I really don't want to deal with these guys. I would love to, but it's going to take too long. And I don't want to start the uh, pain climb again. Yeah, if it was giant black widows, I'd go for it, but I can't stand stellar spiders. Hmm. Start running. Get that closed. Put that away. I haven't leveled these at all yet, so... I haven't even cast them the first time to get the initial level off of them. Uh, might be able to fireball them down. I don't know how many hit points they actually have. I think for the moment it's less important that I get a look around than that I get established back here in the farm real quick. I think I'm going to leave this alone for the moment. We'll get a, a day or two's spell training in. Then we'll come up and we'll uh, we'll kill us some spiders and we'll take a look at this. I don't want to risk it right now. We, we had some pretty good luck with some gear and the, uh, the vehicle. So let's not put that at risk just to kill some spiders. Alright, we'll bail out of here for now. I got plenty of gas, so I don't need to worry about that. Just a few minor zombies running around the airport, looks like. Shouldn't be too tough to clear out. It's 
<laughs> uh, thunderstorm stopped. Here, have some some view radius. <laughs> That's kind of abrupt. This be the time to start driving around right now, so I can see where I'm going. All right, let's uh, slow down back into this place properly. Woohoo! Properly. All right, seeing nothing but chickens. Chickens in the chicken barn. Furniture, wood. Not much in here. That's the small extinguisher. Not useful. Oven in the corner. Pretty much bare. I'm not finding a single item in these places. Well, okay, a rag. <laughs> I can no longer say not a single item. A lighter, boxer shorts, suit, and a condom. I'm just rolling in the good stuff. Triple A guide, ooh, is that the good one? It says the tourist guide, it's not the anarchy guide. <laughs> Fitted sneakers. Alright, first aid book. At least there's something useful out of it. That's pretty much it. Okay, so if we were going to, we would use that bed to sleep in. Or we would sleep on the couch in the living room. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I know. I'm just not taking the time to do it right now. <laughs> I won't get anything useful out of the Anarchist book for a bit anyway. We'll uh, we'll get it all read eventually. What am I seeing a corner of right there? Horse trail. All right. So, there is a road running out the other side of the airport, and then we've got this good-sized city we haven't done much with. Not much in the way of bookstores, like we had previously. I don't see a... maybe one? Yep, one bookstore. Not seeing any libraries, no recycling centers, no magic shops. It's almost all residential, unfortunately, except for the school. School's still probably my first target. Yeah. All right. Let's um. Let's make sure we've got the other things taken care of. So, does this farm have a wa a water source or a water pump somewhere? Not sure what that is. <laughs> Clothesline? line? What is, what is that? I'm not sure what that is. Got the garden area. Horse barn out back. I'm not sure there's a water source in here. No puddles. There's a pond in the horse pasture. Uh, somewhere. Oh, yep, there it is. All right. As long as there's some kind of a water source. I don't mind if I have to travel a bit. Um, no basement in this place. No 60 liter tanks I can get easy access to. Unless I drive back up the road to one of those vehicles. But there were zombies up there. Or go to the airport and kill a few things. Um, I'm just I'm debating whether I want to set up here actually. I think I have to. So 
So I can go through the steps to make a brazier pretty quick. I don't technically need to set up where the oven is. It's more of a convenience thing. I could set up in here instead. So I've got simple access to the couch, multiple exits. Do it in this room. Three ways in and out. Couch to sleep on. I can also park right out here so I have the vehicle close. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that room. Now we'll just do this main room here. So, next problem is going to be I don't have fab. It's going to take me a bit to get fab. I don't have any books for fab, so we're going to be crafting for fab. With low focus and a savant skill. It's going to suck. Um, or I can ignore all that and... All right, let me go. Let me go look at what we've picked up. I've, I've lost track of what we've picked up already. All right, building gear. None of that I care about. Pot to cook with. Very little in the way of actual food. I've got the mechanics books and some raw materials for craft. Hmm. Now, now, don't get started with the fungal stuff. I left I left the fungal stuff a world or two ago. We had all the fungal in that previous world. All of it. So this, this one's going to go light on fungal. Hmm. I don't need a lot of food. We're going to make the run to the school the first night. That'll give me carry capacity, hopefully my rollerblades, and a ton of books. That way we'll have plenty of options on day two. Hopefully I'll be able to grab some food on my way back out again. Hit some of those houses on the way back out. Or, or in. All right. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and unload. spot there, put a firewood source there, one to put in the brazier there, a water source there. Everything will be good then. Okay, uh, next up. Temperature, we're okay currently. 
A little thirsty, nothing to drink but my cheap wine. And I'm a little worried about trying to drink that. Because we're a lightweight. And there are some issues with alcohol that I'm not sure have been fixed yet. So we're just going to empty the jug of wine. We'll go get some water. Don't care about what's in there. Oops, I left the, uh, the gallon jug behind. <laughs> Thought I had picked it up. All right, let's uh, let's water this bush. All right, so we've got a gallon jug. That'll get us the initial water we need. Hey there, Mr. Horsey. Not going to mess with the horses right now. Anything else out here, horses? Just hay bales. Which would give me rope, but... I don't really need a lot of rope right now either. Plus, we got plenty up here. Alright, that's all I need for that. Don't remember there being anything else up here except for the hay bales. The hay loft. Ooh, oh, it's a bucket. <laughs> Thought it was a uh, aluminum keg. Got a couple of buckets. No tools, but a step ladder. And a small lighter. Which I guess I better take. Come on. <laughs> hey there, chickens. Chickens I got no use for. Maybe I'll do some target practice on chickens. Point flare! Ah! <laughs> Point flare! Poor chicken. Uh, back off again. Fireball. Another dead chicken. Oh, I don't have a tool to, do, to butcher with. That's right. I have no knives of any kind yet. I didn't grab any steak knives while I was out. Well, that was kind of silly. Um... Yeah, what? We gained what I needed now. Um, <laughs> yeah, no knives, no nothing. Should be plenty of general raw materials now. So, a little afternoon. Um, I don't have my diver's watch yet. How do I not have my diver's watch? Uh, 
Learn spells, drink water, craft. Let's... How many lockpicks is it going to take? We're at uh, 63 focus. Fabrication is 15%. Do it next to the crafting spot. Forty-seven. I'd have to do at least like fifteen or twenty more of those to manage to do that. The lights not quite reaching all the way over here. It's not gonna help. Might have to move my move my spot. Finished. Good old fast metabolism's kicking in. Um, I only have one hamburger, one pear, <laughs> and uh, one peanut butter sandwich. Alright, give me all the... Really? Can't carry more. All right, we'll have to use this one temporarily. Sandwich, eat the cheeseburger, and craft up some clean water. Alright, that'll do for the moment. <clears throat> think I got two main options I could go driving around in the car looking for body sites get me some uh, some gear things like that um, or I can spend the time doing some um, magic reading or book reading I'll check that first which one is it? So, it's not the anarchist guide, so it's just the regular book guide, or the regular driving skill guide. So, we didn't get the cool AAA, unfortunately. Uh, 
The other advantage to driving around, I got plenty of gas. It's just a matter of a little bit of damage. I think that's the better the, the better move currently. So we'll leave that there. Um, put the crowbar away. Got skill level one and all the spells. Yeah. The weather's not great for this, so that's kind of bad. We had clear weather for a second. Apparently, New England, New England in the spring is just rain, 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 rain. Who wants to bet first thing I find is going to be a uh, flaming eye? <laughs> Mansion! <laughs> well. <laughs> huh. That's, uh, that's fortuitous. That's the interior pool that I'm facing. But why does this look like the front entrance? There should be a road leading to the mansion. Yeah, that's the front entrance right there. Hmm. So, wait a minute. So that means this is going to be one with the library in the middle on this wall. Yeah, it's looking like they forgot to build the road. It's just a mansion off in the middle of nowhere. I'll drive around the other side, but that definitely is the front entrance. So, that corner there and that corner there is where you can find medieval gear. That's the stairs of the second level. I don't usually see... I'm trying to remember when I see the the pool up in the front corner, though. Usually the pool is in the back corner or in the center when it's the outdoor version of the pool. So this is puzzling me a little bit. There's the library right there. Uh, I'm not seeing any of the fancy good books yet. That's going to be unfortunate if we have a... Ah, so close. Oh, Tome of Oncoming Storm. We got a magic book in there. Lightning Bolts. Jolt, Wind Strike, Wind Running, and Call Storm Hammer. Alright, I gotta remember looking in the other category, not the uh <laughs> not the, the book category. Alright, that's just what we can see in the first instance. Let's keep driving. A couple of other books. I can't quite see the books that might be on the back wall here. Oh, and we're going to hit a forest. It's wedged right into the forest. Alright, well I can't drive around this thing. I really, really do want to get a look at that book though. Sooner rather than later. <laughs> so let's uh let's play Pied Piper. I got the gas. Come on, zombies. I'm waiting trying to get that guy to the north to follow me, but he's oh in a body sight. Alright, where's the flaming eye? Smartphone! Baseball helmet. I like baseball helmets. 95% coverage, 9-9 head protection. Knee pads are okay. Aspirin, inhaler. Roller skates! No roller blades, but fitted roller skates, so they're not as fast. Oh, they're not fitted. Um, but that will, uh, that'll help. I'll use those until we get into the school and get full-on roller blades. So, yay, even more stuff.
the moment, though, let's lead these guys off in another direction. Let's uh, circle around. Ah, didn't quite get away from them. <laughs> Four of them still sitting there. Five of them. Um. Yeah, this Pied Piper stuff's kind of rough. Hard to get a really good pull away on these guys. Come on, zombies, get away from these two spots. Let's do the circle one more time. All right, let's try it right here. Let's go to the controls. <clears throat> I want the roller skates, smartphone, definitely the baseball helmet, uh, take off, what, the scarf? Alright, what other headgear have I got on right now, sneakers, pants, oh, the harmonica. Not liking the harmonica with the baseball helmet. All right, <laughs> that's fine. Um, don't care about the rest of that. Gotta have the beer. Leather from the leather pants. It's from and. Grab the knee pads and call it good. Oop, more zombies coming. Uh let's let's kill some zombies. All right, concentration, come on. Nothing's dead yet. <laughs> now I got three zombies on me. I don't want them beating up my vehicle. I'm too used to my big old ten point or tenth level spell. Um, <laughs> Celtic. That's funny.
Alright, he burned to death. I'm okay with the burning to death. Codeine! Cashews! I like it. Did you bring me ammo for that Keltec? You did not. Uh, I'll grab it just in case. Alright. Um, all that. Dump those. Where are the knee pads? And... Twenty five hundred mana. Many zombies. All right, what do we got? Already got the big book. That's the cookbook. Yeah. Home of Oncoming Storm. Unfortunately, it's gray. Gray's not good. So... I'm assuming we got unfortunate there. That's the uh, spells for the alternate class, or the one that I'm proscribed from <laughs> because I'm a Calvinist. So that's unfortunate. Let's see. I want to check the front hall, see if I get a magical uh, fitted chainmail. Eighty-five walking versus hundred and two, but with the knockdown chance. Let's give it a go. Whoops, <laughs> now we're gonna get knocked down in here. Come on, medieval gear! No medieval gear. But we got a pile of food items. Fruit leathers, shelled nuts, lots of them. Pork sticks, and that's it for now. <laughs> 